everybody. I hope you're having a good Sunday. It is March 5th, 2023, and we have some very interesting stuff to take a look at, including the multiple large solar flares, one including an X-class solar flare that was literally just days away from smashing into Earth, which was certainly a very close call, meaning that this thing was just a day and a half away from launching all that X-class energy directly at the planet. Now, before we get into this incredible sun anomaly, whatever it may be, it's very, very interesting. I want to discuss just how close we were to being hit by a major solar flare and also the very real potential of the incoming sunspots that are already showing a massive amount of activity, meaning that we might be in the direct crosshairs of one of these large X-class flares, which could absolutely and has happened in the past cause major disruptions on this planet. As I've said in many other videos, that includes massive global radio blackouts and has been scientifically proven to cause large earthquakes. And for those of you that have followed this channel, we've shown dozens and dozens of different situations where these solar flares that are earth facing that then impact the earth have been directly related to some of the largest earthquakes we've seen. Now, to give you a quick idea of what I mean, these sunspots here that each have a number to them are all capable of producing these solar flares flares, X-class flares, you name it. But one in particular, this one right here that I've been showing you in the previous animations is the one we are very much looking at right now. And it's showing a ton of activity as it makes its way towards the center of the sun, which would cause what we call an Earth-facing eruption. So that is the issue we're looking at right now as this thing is showing massive activity, just like this sunspot named 3243 is the one that gave off that X-class and large M-class solar flare as it began to turn away from Earth, which is why I showed you this end little spiral chart that shows just how close we were to getting hit by this. So in a nutshell, my friends, what I'm saying here is that we nearly got hit by this X-class flare all while we have not one active but multiple sunspots making their way towards Earth facing, which could easily produce the same exact effect, but this time directly at us. So not only are we going to be under those specific conditions where we see the radio blackouts and things of that nature, cell phone interruptions, but we are certainly going to be in an earthquake watch for the next at least five to six days. And that is absolutely something I'm going to continue to cover as these regions of the sun begin to turn towards the earth. And all we can do is wait and see what happens. All right. And I'm sure many of you were very curious about what we saw in the beginning of this video. So during my research of this solar activity, I found yet another very odd anomaly that popped up in front of our sun that is easily comparable to a lot of the other anomalies we've seen over time. And I've gotten hundreds of comments asking me to show people exactly how I find these things and unfortunately also to show people that I'm not faking them. So we are here on a website called helioviewer.org. This gives us every single view of the sun, every camera, the SDO, the LASCO, you name it, in very high def version. So as you could see here, the measurement we're on is 131 angstrom. You can control that over here in the observation data table. And if you look closely, you can see the anomaly right there. I have the Earth comparison right there because this thing is clearly in front of the sun. But let's zoom in here and take a very close look at this object. Now, this is by far one of the more defined ones I've ever seen. I've captured many things just like this. Again, for those of you that follow me, you know I cover these things extensively and nobody knows what these are. They've been covered by many, many different UFO researchers, anomaly researchers, you name it. And outside of continuing to find these objects, there has been no legit answer to what these might be. And again, I hesitate to call them craft because I simply don't know, but how can you not look at these things and wonder what they must be? And very quickly, I want to show you that these things literally pop up in just a single frame. That's how fast they're moving. That's how the time lapse works on these satellite cameras. So right up here, there's a dial that determines how far ahead or behind you want to jump and I have it set for five minutes from now so if I backtrack five minutes you could see that this object disappeared now if I go forward five minutes there it is but if I go forward another five minutes 
this thing is gone. So we are talking a single frame. That's how fast these objects or anomalies are moving. And I felt the need to show you that these are actually here on the website. You can look up the time yourself. This took place at 16, 28, 31 UTC time on February 4th. So what I did was I took a snapshot of this object. As you can see, it has that oval or slash disc shape to it with a clear trailing line behind it. Again, I have multiple videos showing these anomalies both on the side of the sun in front of the sun so in my opinion these things are not coming from the sun but in fact are a separate entity and before we get into the detail of this object I just want to show you that once again this is happening during a period of solar activity another large flare this one happens to be the ending of that X class flare and then boom this thing popped up and as I've shown in other videos these are when these things tend to show themselves I've heard all sorts of theories that these are ships harnessing energy from the sun. I've heard people say they're space dust. I find that very hard to believe based on the shapes, but nonetheless, this thing is absolutely incredible. Let's take a closer look. So all I did here was open this in the simple photos program on my computer. I have not enhanced it in any way. This is the exact frame that was captured on the helioviewer.org website. And just take a look at the shape of this. It's got defined edges with obviously the center being completely white. I've seen this same looking object or anomaly in many different ways. But again, I ask, what do you think we are looking at here? What could these possibly be? And a big reason that you don't see these a lot on the internet besides my channel is because it is tedious work. You have to go frame by frame in the hopes of finding one of these things. And I was just lucky enough to happen to stumble upon this thing because it's during a current solar eruption that we just had. Now, I'm also aware that we don't know the depth of this object. We don't know how close to the sun or how far away it is. But with the Earth scale here, you could see that this this thing is basically just as long as the earth itself not quite as wide but who cares look how big this thing could possibly be and again because of the frame rate of these cameras you only capture it in a single frame this is about as close as we're going to get with this thing but again check out the edges of it you could see it's a separate object in the sun it's not an opening in the sun or anything like that based on the fact that we see this trail and in my opinion because that cutoff is right there is because that is the beginning of when this frame took place and this thing was moving at such a speed that it actually left a trail behind it. All you have to do is search into thin air sun anomalies and you will find dozens and dozens of videos of these incredible captures that to this day nobody has been able to explain. Not even our good friends at NASA. Here is another shot of it without the earth diagram next to it so you can see it on its own and we clearly just see the beginning of that beam right here. This thing is clearly moving in a southern motion and we are left with just this odd anomaly with no explanation whatsoever. Again, I cannot call this a craft. I would love to, but I simply just don't know. As of right now, these can only be called anomalies. And until I start getting some answers, which may never happen, I'm going to continue to post these things to you every time I find them. I would love to hear your thoughts down below about what you think this may be and also why they continue to show up either next to solar eruptions or during solar eruptions, because 99% of these that I have found have taken place during during those periods of high solar activity. All right, my friends, it's been a fun one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments and thoughts down below. It helps tremendously with the channel. And of course, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Shout out to Canada, and you know I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.